So here's the ANET A2-3D printer uh, sitting next to the TiVo tarantula there. And uh, so far, and I'm pretty impressed with this uh, printer for the uh, price. Uh, so anyway, we're going to have a take a look at some of the prints that I've printed off on it so far. I haven't done too many because I haven't had the time. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at them. Well, I uh, shouldn't go and leave the 3D printer unattended with filament just hanging above it because if not, well, if you can see that, it's went over on itself and then completely jammed. Okay, so here's some of the um, prints that I've printed off so far. Uh, so the first print I made was this one here. Uh, the original one uh, didn't adhere to the uh, painter's tape properly, so I stopped it on the uh, first layer of filament. And this is the second print, basically. Um, but I just adjusted it by eye, and this is how it came out. It's not too bad at all. Just a little bit of droop in there. Uh, that that will be helped with a layer fan, but it's not too bad for a first print. Uh, and then the second print was this here, the bust, which you saw in the time lapse, and uh, the filament got tangled, so I wasn't able to complete the print. And then. This was the third print, and, and uh, it's pretty smooth on the base of the bust up to the neck, and then there's a few little bits on the face and that, a little bit rough and that, but it's not too bad at all really. It's quite smooth down here. It's quite a nice finish on it. And then the fourth print, uh, was this chess piece here all these ones so far were just what was on the sd card which was supplied with the printer so then we changed to this filament here after the uh 10 meter sachet which was uh included had gone <coughs> so there's not as much um drooping on this piece of plastic uh, probably because of the change in filament that uh, come out pretty good and then this was on the SD card as well. I don't know how much uh, infill they done on this, but it weighs quite a bit. I mean, there must be 80% infill in this or something. Um, so there's a little bit of drooping on here, which, uh, like I say, it needs a layer fan, which I've uh, made now. And then just on the sides there, on the back there. Uh, that came out pretty good. Quite impressed with it, really. Considering I've uh, not even... Uh, done any calibrations on it or anything it's uh, the prints are coming out reasonably good <coughs> and then here's a bit of a functional print uh, an upgrade for the 3d printer this is going to be the uh, y-axis uh, tensioner um, so the parts I printed out they come out really well and they fit nicely I just had to uh, scrape the edges with a razor blade but they run in there uh, very nicely and the finish on them is pretty good but I did run this was running at quite a high speed so uh, it's not going to be the best surface finish but uh, it's definitely um, okay for me this part here of the uh, y-axis tensioner just uh, start to come off the bed a bit so as you can see it's um, a little bit warped but it's still functional and I'm not going to bother printing it off again I'm just going to use this here and then the other print was just this uh, toothpaste uh, squeezer so you can get every last drop out of your toothpaste tube 
and that came out really well but uh, it's not the best surface finish but I was running it at quite a high speed so yep and then there's just the layer fan mount now which I've printed off and just the x-axis tensioner as well uh, yeah so that's all I've done with it so far but so far I'm pretty impressed with it and this was just the first prints anyway I'm going to get to doing some more uh, I w I'm going to at some point do a comparison between the TiVo Tarantula over there and the Anet A2 so if you want to get um, a notification of that when um, I make that video uh, please subscribe and hit the bell icon at the side of the subscribe button and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't um, and please comment below uh, if you've got any questions about the printer that you want to know uh, please put them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you and uh, even possibly address them in the future videos okay so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time bye